Guys, this is Easter Sunday weekend. And if you have not seen Easter Sunday yet, talking about the movie of Joe Koy, first time in Hollywood that features an all Filipino lead cast, it's major. We need to support, we need to show Hollywood that we want to see more movies like this. So please go out to the theaters and watch Easter Sunday. It opened last Friday. August 5th, uh, opening weekend is very critical to any movie and even LDP. Lou Diamond Phillips knows all about that because he's been in the business for many, many years, even before Hollywood started talking about Asian representation. A lot of people actually thought or maybe even think that he is Hispanic because of his stellar role in La Bamba. But yes, he is Filipino and in fact, he talks to us about what makes him so Pinoy. TFC, the Filipino channel? Yes. Oh, my, my mother's gonna be watching this. <laughs> Yay, congratulations. Lou, how has Hollywood changed from the time you were starting? <laughs> well, first of all, we have a Filipino movie. Exactly. <laughs> you know, uh, it's, I tried to do one. I tried to do one way back in 1990 uh, uh, when I uh, wrote Ambition. Yeah. Uh, my character, uh, you know, Mitchell Osborne, was uh, uh, a Filipino-American. It's the only time in my entire career, you know, uh, prior to this, where, where I've actually been able to play, you know, Filipino because uh, that, that demand wasn't there for those kind of roles. I mean, that... that uh, that background was was really not in vogue. Uh, what we've seen, you know, over the past, I mean, since I've been in Hollywood, you know, uh, is a, a gradual acceptance of other people's experiences. Uh, and because of that, a gradual acceptance of authenticity and people representing, you know, in, in uh, different roles. Uh, I've, I've been very, very fortunate uh, in, in the respect that I've represented so many communities. Because back when, when I started, there was a dearth uh, of actors of color, uh, you know, whether that be Asian or, or Latino or, you know, any mix thereof. Uh, and uh, so I was often called, you know, to, to be the face, uh, you know, of a different community. I've always been very proud that, you know, the Native communities and the, the uh, Latino community have embraced me and accepted me and uh, uh, have been appreciative of the way I've represented them. Uh, and now here we are, you know, with the Filipino movie, and it took somebody as charming as Joe Coy <laughs> to get that to happen, you know? Ladies and gentlemen, we're all we got, so let's get the party started, baby! I got a feeling. You know, for me and, T and Tia, it's, it's been a long road, and so there's, there's something really, really gratifying about it. So what makes this movie special for you? <laughs> It, it, it's, it's once again it's strange playing myself yes you know you see it in the breakdowns Lou Diamond feels hey I think I could do that yeah. <laughs> I might know a little something about that uh, the funny thing is is that it's like the fourth or fifth time I, I've played myself uh, whether it's in Cougar Town or you're the worst uh, and they're always sort of heightened realities of myself uh, but but the fact that in this film um, and I, I, I try not to throw these words around, you know, lightly. But you know that that I play a Filipino icon, you know, somebody somebody who uh, was was one of the first, you know, from the community to make it in Hollywood. Uh, I'm I'm very proud of that, you know. And and Joe Coy has been ridiculously gushy about you know what it meant to him, and that means a lot to me. It means a lot to me that he really wanted me to be a part of this film, uh, and that uh, you know. Uh, I, I, I don't know, I could, I could be there to pass the torch. Right, so what was the most amazing meal you've had during filming of the show? See, this is, what, this is the shame. This what? is the absolute shame of oh, it all. No. You got a bunch of Filipinos in a hotel together and we can't get together because of COVID. Right. I worked for two days on this movie in quarantine for two weeks. Oh. Grubhub was my friend. Right. You know? So no so, lumpia and pancit. No, 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 no lumpia, no pan. I mean, I, I was so looking forward to an adobo cook-off with Joe Coy. You know, our, our, our mother's recipes going mano a mano. Right. Didn't happen. Uh, <laughs> then we need a sequel. Funny, it's because uh, uh, Rodney Toad during the, the table read that we all did on Zoom, he goes, Lou, 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 bring your own rice cooker. <laughs> so, so you know, we would we would yell at each other through the door. Lydia, Lydia Gaston, uh, who plays his mother, uh, she was one of my royal wives in The King and I on Broadway in '96 and '97. So uh, I, I'm so happy for her 
uh, this role, I think, will, you know, is, is just going to introduce a much larger audience to her incredible talents. But she would bring me mangoes from the market because I wasn't out of quarantine yet. She would bring me mangoes from uh, uh, the Granville Island uh, market and leave them outside my door for me. <laughs> oh, how yum. The, the, the fresh ones or yeah, the, the yeah. yellow the ones? ones? Yeah, yeah, the, the yellow ones. ones. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, they're also good with bagon, right? The bagon. Um, not <laughs> one of my favorites. <laughs> That, that and Patisse are just, they're not quite on my palate. Too salty. Just a little bit. <laughs> Too fishy. Yeah, just no. a little. Okay, well, all right, so the show is called So Janelle, so we talk about things that are so candid, so hot, so upcoming, because that's my name. Okay. And so what makes you so Pinoy? Uh, oh my goodness. Um, I mean, well, certainly the fact that, that adobo is, is not only uh, uh, one of my family's favorites, but, you know, my white wife makes it now, <laughs> and uh, Indigo is her favorite. My daughter Grace apparently, uh, you know, makes an incredible uh, adobo, and uh, she was on The Cleaning Lady. We, she played my daughter, you know, all, another Filipino-centric show, which was fantastic. Right. Um, and, and yeah, just, just trying to represent, you know, uh, and, and karaoke. Right. Karaoke makes all of us Pinoy. And one final question. Yeah. What is your favorite Tagalog word, Filipino word? O o talaga. O o talaga. Yeah, That's true. That. We'll end with that. Thank well, you yeah, because so the other ones are all bad. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. You bet.